The Milwaukee County Medical Examiner says Ortiz weighed 850 pounds. Alvario says because of her weight, no one had the capacity to handle the case. Imagine genuinely being so morbidly obese that they would need, I don't know, probably a crane to get you out of your home, remove the roof, get Bob the Builder up in that bitch just to lift you up and put you in a casket. Which is probably what they would have to do. This chick is like, what, 800 pounds? You would need like three to four Arnold Schwarzenegger type dudes just to get her out the bed. Oh my God. I've been making moves trying to lay low. Just for 20k, all in place up. Yeah, I'm a good baby K, that new range rock. Off the maze, give me Yo, how's it like going, bro? Excuse me, it's your boy Lofi here. And hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Hope you're eating healthy, you know, getting some exercise because uh, the person in today's video didn't exactly do any of that. Oh my god, Lofi, you're being fat phobic. I can't believe it. I can't support you anymore. Yes, yes, I am. Now that we've got that out of the way, I saw this news story where this mom had contacted the news like, they couldn't do anything because my daughter died in her bed in her sleep because she was, you know, very, very unhealthy and it, it, they couldn't get her body out in time and it started smelling really bad. And uh, now I'm going to blame blame the fire department in my small town for not literally having the facilities to carry somebody, I don't know, like almost half a ton in weight. It's their fault for not being prepared for this one in a million scenario, bro. They should be prepared for everything. An alien invasion? They should be prepared for that. A nuke dropping right on my house? They should be able to stop it. All right, she didn't say all that, but genuinely, this story is crazy, bro. So let me just go ahead and play the video. Beautiful soul, contagious laughter. Carolyn Alvario's daughter, Cassandra Ortiz, passed away a week ago. But remembering the light she brought to this home got clouded by what happened there after she died. Bro, what happened to her after she died? Did she get infected with the zombie virus outbreak and come back from the dead? Did somebody come in and diddle the body? Did P. Diddy have access, bro? What's going on? Real <laughs> shit, though. I really hate how people on the news will be like, You won't believe what happened next. Sounded like a YouTuber doing a top 10 countdown. Like, we get it. Just tell me the information, weather boy. I don't wish what we're going through. I don't wish that on anybody. The Milwaukee County Medical Examiner says Ortiz weighed 850 pounds. 850 pounds? That's as much as a monster truck type. A full-grown grizzly bear. 55 gallons of sand. That's like 17 bushels of apples, bro. God damn. Genuinely, how does someone end up weighing as much as a grand piano? And you see, people outside of America will see this one news story and be like, see, all Americans are fat. All American, bro. I'm built like a Holocaust survivor. It's not all of us, okay? It's not. It's not all of us. Alvario says because of her weight, no one had the capacity to handle the case. There's not a funeral home that would take her. It took nearly 12 hours to move Ortiz out of the home. Yeah, I would imagine that the average funeral home doesn't have the facilities to handle the equivalent of a baby whale. And it took 12 hours to get her out the home? How do they fit her through the door? Okay, okay, I will admit that one's that one was mean. But genuinely, like I'm genuinely curious what took them so long. <laughs> Oh my god, do they have to be like, all right, who's all the bodybuilders on the force? All right, go, hey, call your cousin Eddie. He's still a gym rat, right? On them steroids? I guarantee you they're going to be telling stories about this call for the rest of their entire careers. To walk in that room and just keep seeing her there, and it's like, oh my god. When are they gonna get my baby out of here? They need to get her out of here. Why would you keep walking in the room that has a dead body in it? Like, I'm just saying, bro, but if someone died in my house and I had to wait however long for the cops to get there, I wouldn't keep walking in just like, you still dead? You still dead? You're not coming back as a zombie, right? Like, why would you continuously want to look at a dead body, bro? I understand the genuine shock of, oh no, someone close to me died and being like sad or whatever, okay, right? Like, I I'm not just a human being with no emotions, okay? I get it. I understand. But after the first couple of hours, you would be like, you know, maybe I shouldn't just keep walking into the room with a deteriorating human body. You know, there might be some diseases, some pathogens that might start to form. Also, when you die, your entire body just relaxes, right? Like, your butthole being clenched is only because you're alive. So, your entire intestinal tract just relaxes and anything that that's in there just slithers on out. So yeah, you poop yourself when you die. So she was actively walking in that smelly ass room and being like, you still dead? Just going <laughs> huffing in all that stank. <laughs> and given that this person was almost half a ton in weight, there was probably at least 20 pounds of doo-doo that came out of that body. Honestly, I kind of feel bad for the mom, you know, like genuinely. I wouldn't want my house to smell like dead people doo-doo for 12 hours. That does kind of suck. The owner at Church and Chapel Funeral Home, Ted Larson, wanted to help. The Cudahy Fire and Police Department and Larson's team eventually moved Ortiz. There were, at times, 20, 30 people in this house trying to help this family. 
uh, address this situation. It took 30 people to move the body? Oh my god. What, did they just say, all right, everybody, get in here. Everybody grab a fat roll. One, two, three, heave! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All, all jokes aside, though, like, the dude genuinely seemed like he wanted to help. He's like, dang, all right, let me take some professionalism to my job. It's a horrible thing that happened to this woman, all right? Like, her daughter died, right? Like, let me try my best to help out. And he's taking, you know, everything he can possibly do and trying to do it. And she's still on the news complaining, like, like, I'm sorry, you gotta take reality into account, right? The situation is that your daughter weighs about five to six times as much as the average person. So it's gonna be about five times as hard to get that body up out of there. I mean, before anybody asks, no, I do not believe that every fire department, police department should be prepared for morbidly obese people to be the norm. Like, no, we shouldn't have a whole task force just for fat people. You ain't special just because you don't work out and eat healthy. I'm sorry. Larson says there isn't a crematory in the Milwaukee metro area large enough. Ortiz had to be transferred to Illinois. All right, now look, this might sound kind of morbid, but can you just like, I don't know chop her up into little pieces and burn them one at a time like i'm sorry that just seems logical to me it just just seems logical and cheaper if you can't get the whole pizza in your mouth cut it up into slices and do it one at a time you feel me like they really had a chance for this person out of state just to find a furnace big enough to burn that hoe you know they can't even do a real funeral at this point because the body's already been dead too long you have like what three four days max and they got to get the body on ice immediately because when they go to a morgue they're kept in like a huge refrigerator basically that holds a body and i don't think they have morgues big enough it is big but because the fire department was called to a fire ortiz remained in that van overnight for safety reasons myself and my colleagues were not capable to ha take her from our van and to put her onto any type of table that could be large enough to accommodate her dang so she was just stuck in the back of the ambulance for like what two three days until they got another team of 30 people to move her somewhere else do they even have gurneys that big do they even make tables that big obviously they do right i'm just being facetious but seriously though imagine being mad because the firefighters couldn't immediately find a place with a big ass table because they had to go save some lives and put out a fire up on the news all like they didn't have a one million pound weight table to put my daughter on so Oh, they're evil, horrible people. They went to go save lives and just left her there. This chick is worse than the person who sued Red Bull because they drank one and it didn't actually give them wings. I swear to God, Americans are legitimately just stupid, greedy, horrible people. I guarantee you she's probably gonna try and sue the department for not getting the body fast enough for emotional distress. Emotional distress is probably how she got that big in the first place. You should have put down the Big Mac and grabbed a 10 pound weight. God dang. With her having sat so long in the bed, and having sat so long in the van, even if we wanted to, we couldn't do a funeral. Alvario urges other families to pre-plan arrangements. She wants the state of Wisconsin to have a protocol for situations like her daughter's. Yeah, no, there doesn't need to be a fat people protocol. Like, what would that task force even be called? The American Obesity Force? <laughs> what are they supposed to do when they get that call? All right, this one's a big one, boys. We got a code willy. Code free willy. All right, we, we got to hurry up, suit up. Grab the extra big stretcher. They really think that Americans are going to want to pay an extra 2% in taxes every year just because people don't know how to... I don't know, diet, eat healthy. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but when uh, the police or, you know, the fire department needs new stuff, they either do a huge fundraiser or our taxes go up. And I don't personally want my taxes to go up just so fat people can get their dead bodies out of their house faster. This fat acceptance stuff is going too far, right? I understand people who have medical conditions that they can't control their thyroid or however that works. Okay, I'm not fat. I, I don't know how it would work. But people with those type of medical conditions is like maybe like what, a few thousand? Okay, okay, this is America. So probably like a few hundred thousand. Those are special circumstances that don't happen that often. This is dead ass just another case of people thinking that they're special and more important than they actually are and hoping for special treatment from the government because of it. And to expect special treatment just because you prefer a Big Mac over a salad? That's just wild, bro. Something's gotta be put in place. So no family has to deal with the challenge during an already difficult time. Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. You know what should have been put in place? Harass in the gym. Seriously though, all right, no more jokes, no more memes. You know, of course, this is a very sad situation. Okay, death is always, you know, pretty sad. 
unless it's, you know, somebody you don't like, then it's okay. But it's genuinely absurd to me how this woman is out here complaining on the news like, we need a fat people task force for when fat people die, all right? This is this is going too far. And it's trying to genuinely be serious about it. Th this is absolutely insane. Oh my God. Just do what everybody else does whenever the services like police and fire department make you mad. Just sue them and then when it doesn't work out, I guess go to the news, which is probably what happened here. So the moral of this video is um, make sure to eat healthy, bro. He's right. You don't want to be somebody who has to get 30 people to lift you out the crib when you pass in your sleep. Because you don't want to have to leave your friends and family with the bill of 10K for a specially made coffin just because your ass is fatter than a sea lion. All jokes aside, though, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a fat like on it and subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate that. Also, make sure to check out all the links in the description, Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Shameless self-promotion. You guys know the drill. Seriously, though, I really hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I've been Lofi. Peace out, broskies.